NATO recently conducted a series of tests on one of the world's most advanced artillery systems. A Swedish-made howitzer worth approximately $8 million. The weapon, known as the Archer Artillery System, was developed by Bay Systems Haglands, a Swedish defense company renowned for its high-precision innovations in combat vehicles and heavy weapon systems. The tests were conducted in Scandinavia, where extreme terrain poses significant challenges for long-range artillery systems. However, the Archer demonstrated exceptional performance, confirming its reputation as one of the most efficient, rapid, and accurate howitzers ever deployed by the NATO alliance. One of the Archer's key advantages is its ability to fire up to 8 rounds per minute with an effective range of over 40 kilometers, depending on the type of ammunition used. The system is fully automated, meaning that loading, adjusting the barrel angle, and firing can be done directly from within the armored cabin without the crew needing to exit the vehicle. In tests, the Archer's digital ballistic system was able to calculate wind direction, distance, and target elevation in seconds providing high-precision fire even against moving targets. NATO calls this technology a modern artillery revolution, as it combines high rate of fire, digital accuracy, and maximum crew protection in a single combat platform. The Archer's design also demonstrates the Swedish philosophy of emphasizing mobility and durability in difficult terrain. The gun is mounted on a robust 6x6 truck chassis allowing it to reposition in less than 60 seconds after firing, a crucial capability in shoot-and-scoop tactics to avoid enemy counterattacks. Its front cab is armored with thick armor that can withstand artillery and small arms splinters, while the entire control system can be operated by just three personnel. NATO considers this capability crucial in modern operations that demand crew efficiency and fast reaction times in open combat. In joint tests with several artillery units from Norway and Finland, the Archer also successfully demonstrated seamless integration with NATO command and control systems, enabling high-precision cross-country fire coordination. This success confirms that Swedish technology can compete with other leading artillery systems such as the German PS-2000 or the French Caesar. With a unit cost of approximately $8 million, the Archer is considered a strategic investment that not only strengthens NATO's combat capabilities in Northern Europe but also symbolizes the high-tech partnership between the alliance's member states. This Swedish howitzer is currently being considered for increased production and deployment to several NATO member states requiring a mobile artillery system with high-precision firing capabilities. In the increasingly tense geopolitical context in Eastern Europe, the Archer provides a tactical and psychological advantage, as it can launch attacks from long distances with an effectiveness rivaling that of modern missiles. With this successful test, NATO is increasingly confident that the Archer will become a key part of its modern defense strategy, illustrating how Scandinavian technological prowess and efficiency can contribute significantly to collective security in the European region and globally. In addition to its impressive firepower and mobility, the Archer Howitzer Artillery System also excels in logistical efficiency and combat readiness. Each unit is equipped with an automatic ammunition loading system capable of loading up to 21 projectiles in a single charge, all of which can be fired in less than three minutes if needed in a combat emergency. The entire process is controlled through a computer interface designed with an intuitive control system, allowing the crew to monitor barrel condition, temperature, and bullet velocity in real time. The integrated military-grade GPS navigation system also allows the Archer to engage targets beyond line of sight with near-perfect accuracy, even in extreme weather conditions or signal interference. In NATO test scenarios, several Archer units were deployed in concealed locations in Scandinavian forests to simulate real-life military operations. From these positions, the Archer was able to provide long-range fire support against targets tens of kilometers away without being detected by enemy radar systems. This capability makes the Archer highly suitable for modern warfare operations that demand high speed and mobility, especially in regions like Eastern Europe, which have a mix of open plains and dense forests. In fact, 
Some test reports have stated that the system can move from a firing position to a safe position in just 30 seconds after the last round is fired, providing a much higher chance of survival than traditional artillery systems. In addition to its technical advantages, NATO also highlighted the Archer's operational cost efficiency compared to other heavy artillery systems. With a production cost of around $8 million per unit, the Archer is relatively cost-effective compared to the German P's 2000 howitzer or American systems like the M109 Paladin, which can be more expensive and have slower reaction times. This advantage makes the Archer an ideal option for strengthening NATO's frontline defenses, especially for member states with limited defense budgets but requiring high-quality weapon systems. This test also marks the expansion of defense cooperation between Sweden and NATO, as the Scandinavian country strengthens its position within the Western Military Alliance. Analysts believe this step is not merely an evaluation of technical capabilities, but also a symbol of NATO's increasing openness to innovation in the Northern European defense industry, known for its efficiency and high-tech capabilities. Archer is now seen as a clear example of how the combination of automation, digital precision, and field mobility can transform conventional artillery into a fully modern weapon system responsive to new threats. Following the satisfactory test results, NATO is reportedly considering a large-scale purchase to bolster artillery forces in the Baltic and Eastern Europe. NATO artillery commanders described Archer as not just a weapon, but an integrated combat system capable of delivering battlefield dominance. Amid rising global tensions and the potential for open conflict in Europe, Archer's presence symbolizes the Alliance's readiness to face all forms of modern threats, a testament that strength is determined not only by the number of weapons, but also by technological intelligence and a careful mobility strategy. Beyond the technical and strategic aspects, NATO's Archer test also opened up debate about the doctrine of modern artillery use. Military planners must now rethink how to incorporate long-range precision fire systems into joint operations, from integrating aerial intelligence and reconnaissance to synchronizing with airstrikes and ground forces. In exercises, Archer does not operate in isolation. It operates with the support of reconnaissance drones for target lock-on, fighter aircraft for establishing safe zones, and logistics units providing ammunition and spare parts. This demonstrates that its effectiveness relies heavily on a digital combat ecosystem capable of providing accurate target data and reliable command control links. Without these supporting elements, Archer's technical advantages risk being underutilized. From a political and diplomatic perspective, the mass procurement of Archer by NATO member states has the potential to provoke a backlash from those who view this increased artillery capacity as a military escalation. Some observers believe that deploying long-range howitzers to sensitive border areas could exacerbate tensions, while supporters argue that this move is actually preventive, creating a clear deterrent effect. Furthermore, industrial cooperation between Sweden and NATO countries offers significant economic and technological value. Technology transfer, crew training and after-sales support will foster closer defense industry alliances, accelerating the modernization of armed forces in Northern Europe.